<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a really fun little game that we're going to be trying out tonight called Hamster Restaurant. And you guys may actually recognize these little ham hams from the Hamster Life game that we played a few months ago actually. And it was really, really cute. It just didn't end up staying in my lineup because we had some other games to try out. But believe it or not, Hamster Life has been one of our highly requested return games for quite a while. And tonight when I was browsing the Google App Store, I bumped into this hamster restaurant from the same creators of a hamster life and it looks absolutely adorable and I'm already getting so many ideas that we could have been to zoo crafting in some of our other series just by looking at it I mean look they've got tree stumps tree stumps for tables tree stumps for seats and apparently we feed the hamsters with a little restaurant that we can run in this game so we're gonna be giving it a try and seeing what it has to offer oh look there's even sushi <gasps> that's so cute okay so without further ado let's go ahead and start running our hamster restaurant I have no idea what we're going to be doing. We're going to decide our plaza name in 10 characters or less. Okay, um, let me think. How about hamsters, um, sunflower seed. All right, let's just do sunflower. Sunflower plaza then. All right, sunflower. That will, That's what we'll call our plaza name. So we're here in our plaza. Let's, uh, let's, it'll get hamster to cook. Okay, so we're gonna send our hamster over here. About the kitchen. In the kitchen, you can consume coins and cook. The dishes that can be made are different in every kitchen. So it's kind of like having those little places set up in The Sims 4 where each little kiosk kind of serves a different type of food. Okay. Let's set a variety of kitchens and increase cooking variation. The recipes will be released as you raise the cooking level. Okay, and usually the cross field stuff isn't translated like 100% on par, but you can understand what's going on. All right, so we can make yakitori. So let's go ahead and start making that with this little ham ham. Oh, this is our very first ham ham that we had in the hamster life. It kind of makes me want to revisit hamster life now. All right, let's shorten time to use cheese with use cheese this time. Okay, so I guess the cheese. Oh, it's like a little rainbow cheese. Okay, so those will be like our speed through items. So let's go ahead. We'll use the cheese. The cuisine are complete. Let's collect by tapping. All right, so now we've gathered up. Uh, give dish to your customer. Uh, about order. Let's cook for the guest who came to Sunflower Plaza. By tapping the table where the guest is, you can see which food you want to eat. Let's make this di that dish and push button to eat food. Okay. When you tap a guest who has finished cooking, you can receive coins and experience points in return. The level of the categories of dishes served to guests will also rise. Let's cook more and more. All right. So we're going to serve the food the yakitori, and we're gonna sh shorten the time again using the cheese. All right. Uh, oh, look at the happy little hamster. Seems to have finished eating. Let's tap the hamster. Gotcha. Level up. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Oh, did we get another table? And we got more cheese. Thank goodness. I was a little worried about that. I received a reward from the customer. Wonderful. So now we can just go, ta-da. Okay. And then now we have an empty table, but we can go, <gasps> we can get new tables. Um. I kind of like these little tables. Do you want to buy the Japanese style table set? Yes, please. And then we can go ahead. I'll just put it right down there. Oh, look, our little tables are getting cleaned off. Oh, let's do a puzzle. But my person, this little guy's, he wants food. Okay, well, we got to do a puzzle. Okay, so what are the puzzles? About the puzzle. <gasps> There's a little hamster in a bee outfit there. Advancing the puzzle will allow you to release rare hamsters and increase the maximum number of hamsters that can be placed in the plaza. You can check the number of stages you can earn under the ready screen. Okay, so let's try this out. Oh, the puzzles. This is what we did in Hamster Life too, and it was actually really addictive. All right, so we're gonna line up the little food uh, and increase the score. Okay, I totally, I, I can understand that philosophy. Let's do this. Yeah, look at that. Managed to get, oh, we're already clear. <laughs> oh, look at that. I think we did really good, guys. Ooh, even got some fancy foods. Nice, and the little hamster's still eating. Oh my gosh. We got a lot of points. <laughs> okay, so we ended up getting, did we get some coins from that? Stage two. Okay, break the background panel. Alrighty. I can do that, but how is this gonna help me out with my little hamster restaurant? I'm so curious. All right, let's see. And then I can do this. And what about this? There we go. And maybe I can do this. Okay, almost there. Just have to manage, aha, there we go. So we broke the background panel. So how's this gonna help me run a hamster restaurant? Let's find out. 
<laughs> oh, remember last time we were so confused by hamster life and then we played it for a little while and it got really exciting and you guys had so many hamster stories to share. You guys have had so many hamsters. All right, so there's that one. And then I guess I could keep going the stages or I could go back. Oh, look, there's so many hungry hamsters. Yay, we got a long end bonus. Okay, so many hungry little hamsters. So we can make yakitori and tempura right now. We'll go ahead and we will make some yakitori at this little building. Look at the little ham ham inside. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So how do I expand? Next expansion will be released at the level four. Okay, so you gain experience up there. And then I wonder... Oh, look at this. So we can get shovels and you can remove objects in case you need more room to be able to put down your little tables. So I get one hamster. So tap the icon in the upper left to see the hamster selection screen. Let's get hamsters with stars gained by a puzzle. By tapping on each hamster icon, you can put that hamster out into the plaza. Okay, there's an upper limit to the number of hamsters that can be placed on the plaza. Oh, so I think placing the hamsters on the plaza if we got 15 stars, then we could get Puddin, or we could get Pearl White, <gasps> Desert Hamster, what? And then when we get the hamsters, I guess you can increase the count, and then you can put down more little shops. Okay, I'm starting to kind of put things together. This is adorable, oh, there's a bee, hi. What are you doing down there? What are you doing down there? All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can make sense of this really quickly. Let's play another stage, and yeah, I figured out the vertical things pretty quickly. Let's use that right away. There we go. There we go. All right, look at me go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I could have moved that and gotten one of the sparkly little things. All right, so then what happens is we have seven moves left. So this little ham ham is going to climb around. Oh my gosh, she doesn't even have to do anything. <laughs> I wish I could get more. I wish I could get like some sort of bonus for how many uh, points we're getting right now. That's amazing. All right, so we got three more stars. How many more stars did I need before we can get another ham ham? Uh, I can't remember right off the top of my head. Wing. All right, that's pretty useful. And then we'll get this one and this one. And let's see, can I, yep, there we go. So the background is now clear. We had 17 moves left too. The puzzles were really easy at the beginning of Hamster Life too. And then it got really complicated and we'd have to go back again and again and again to try to get through them. Oh, look at you, you're so cute. Okay, hurry up little ham ham. All right, wonderful. So that's another six. So I think we needed to get 10 stars to get a new ham ham. So I think we have enough stars now. All right, let's see. Oh, we're so close. We just need three more stars. Okay, and then this guy is busy, busy making the yakisoba. So if we want to add another yakisoba shop, then I think we need to get another hamster. So let's try one more time. And let's see, let's clear this away. And okay, so that cleared away all of that type. Gotcha. All right, and so there's that one. And what about this? Ooh, if you combine the power ups, you get nice stuff. That was awesome. All right, come on, little ham ham, chew faster. Chew faster, little guy. Oh, no, come back. Okay. <laughs> all right, buddy. I think that you're gonna like, there we go. He maxed out there. So now we got our three stars. Let's go get another yakisoba hamster. <gasps> the up installation upper limit of the hamster has been increased. I love the translations on these because they're so, you can see what they're saying and it's so interesting how it's a little bit different. Let's get Puddin because Puddin sounds adorable. We're going to release the hamster. Yay, oh my gosh, I remember that hamster. That one was such a cutie. Okay, so now we added that hamster. So how do I manage if I want to get another yakisoba order done? Oh, can I serve the food? Is it done? <gasps> Wait, was it already done? I already had a couple of them inside of my little... I already had a couple of them in my belongings. You guys, I feel so silly. All right, can I have another restaurant? Let's see, how do I get another restaurant? So these are the things I already have. So I have a pick, I have three shovels, I have another yakisoba. I guess you can store food. That's so nifty to know. So what am I gonna do with this little guy? I wonder how I, how do I get more? Uh, let's set the menu by pressing miscellaneous button. Tap on the slot part, the recipe list will come up. Select cooking from there and add it to the slot. Uh, cook that is not set in the writings will not be requested by the guest, even if you make it, so be careful. I have no idea what that means, but what if I want to add another... Okay, oh my gosh, look at all these things. There's spaghetti. I wonder what these are. And so as we level up our cooking skill, it looks like there's different types of cooking skills too. Like you can have a little bakery. So it looks like we're working on meat right now. Oh my gosh, we have carnivorous hamsters. Oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, so wait, shop maybe. 
All right, about the shop, you can purchase restaurants. So this is where you can purchase the little restaurants. Okay, so I have some money. I can get another yakisoba shop or I could open up another building. Southeast Asia restaurant. Look at all of that stuff they serve. Oh my gosh, there's something on a leaf. That would be really cool. Or we could go ahead and if we get this one, this is an Italian restaurant or fancy new items. What is this? Wow. There's cute little decorations. We could make a really cute little place with this. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's flowers. Oh no, my weakness, my weakness. Look at all of these cute things. This is gonna give me so many ideas. I draw inspiration from every single game that we play for our other games, and this is just so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and put down, let's do the Southeast Asia restaurant. And we already have a stray hamster, or well, we have like Puddin. So Puddin's gonna be put to work. Uh, do not put uh, in any open space. What do you mean I don't have any open space for this restaurant? Hmm, all right, so let's go ahead. Let's clear this obstacle away. Maybe that's our problem. And then let's clear away this obstacle. Button's like, run away! And then one more. I'm gonna clear this away. That looks like I should have enough room for a restaurant now. All right, Pudding, you stay out of the way. And let me go ahead and put down. Eh, dang it. So I guess maybe what I need is to be able to expand. So until I hit level four, we can't expand. Fooey, I really wanna add in our new restaurant. I bought it and everything. Oh good, and that guy got another yakisoba done. So you can make the tempura be done in four minutes and I have, or yakitori, excuse me, not soba, oh my gosh. And then it looks like I can have either hamster start cooking in there. Do they gain, I think they gain experience points by being out there with the little, the little heart rate. So I'll have to wonder, hmm. So I guess that means they're like getting experience and working. Who knows? I'm not really quite the hamster expert, but I'm beginning to understand what we're doing, even if it's a little confusing and adorable. But yeah, I just wanted to try this out, you guys, so we could see what, oh, look at him go, what hamster restaurant was all about. Uh, Cause I, I haven't really dabbled in these little app games for a while and it's really fun just to try something new. So this is Hamster Restaurant. We'll have to see if we continue working with it or if maybe we'll try out Hamster Life just on a whim every now and then just as a little light something fun. I mean, look how much space we have. So I guess you get expansion areas and then you just kind of manage your hamsters. And then I wonder, are there like specific goals of things to, to get? What kind of restaurants can we have? What are some of the others? Uh, it looks like, is that a tea restaurant? Oh my goodness, they're cute. But yeah, it's just fun to try out some new things now and then. So here we are, trying out new things. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and there we have some happy hamsters. Look at that! Oh wow, we get a lot of rewards for these guys. Oh, we leveled up! Oh, that's so fun! Oh, yay! And now we can have two Italian restaurants, I think? That's interesting. <gasps> Post office and neighbors, look at them, look at them, look at them. We have a post office and we have an adorable little bus made out of acorns. Okay, that turned out a lot cuter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, about neighbors, by tapping the acorn bus, you can go to the plaza of other users or shop at a special shop. You can get friend coins by stroking a hamster in other users plaza or visiting your own plaza. Let's save a friend coin and get a limited item at a special shop. What? What? Oh my gosh. Really? Really? How do I, how do I, how do I see? Oh my goodness, so, oh look, there's a little onigiri hamster. <laughs> it's so cute, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, so this there's just some really fun little random things you can bump into. What about visitor, what does that do? Visitor, okay, so we haven't had any visitors. And then you have like a little add to list, and then you have like a little search. Please enter the name of the friend. Uh, what if I put in like, hamster? Is there anybody named hamster? Maybe? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of hamsters. Can I really just visit a random person? <gasps> I can! I can just visit a random person and then I can pet their hamsters. Does that give me, does that give me like money or coins for it? Let's see. What does that do? So did I get like, did I get little, oh, I didn't get any bonus things. Uh, recommendation, what is that? Oh, then you can just go visit random people. Okay, let's go visit somebody with a Japanese name. And they're just kind of roaming around. They have pudding too. All right, I've got, oh, and they've got another little ham ham down here. So I have no idea how I'm supposed to like get enough coins. 
<laughs> or how I'm supposed to upgrade anything. But this was fun. This was fun. I don't know if we'll we'll keep poking at it, but it's really adorable. Um, I'm not. I mean, look at them. They're riding around in their little bus. That's just so cute. Oh, and then I can I can. Oh, okay. Serve the food. Oh, they came to visit me. What? I have people who came to visit me. This is so cool. Or the little hamsters have names. Okay, so we'll feed them. And I have no idea what else we're doing, but this was really fun just to kind of poke at something new for a minute. I have no idea where my little post office is, but this definitely gives me some some fantastic ideas for the future. So I don't know where that post office went. And I don't know how to make these hamsters happier. <laughs> so we'll just have to figure it out at some point in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.